Sunday. This is the most exciting story in all of the Bible. When you think of Easter, you might think of colorful eggs or the Easter bunny. But really, Easter is about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent his only son to rescue us. Hello boys and girls, this is your teacher Miss Arlette and today's story in the Bible is in John 20. Jesus died on a Friday. It was a very sad day. It was sad because Jesus' friends didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't understand why he had to die. Jesus' body was wrapped in white cloths and placed in a tomb. A large stone covered the entrance to make sure nothing happened to his body. On the Sunday morning after Jesus had died, some women went to visit his tomb. One of them was Mary Magdalene. They hoped to cover his body with burial spices. On the way there, they talked about how they would move that large rock blocking the tomb. But when they got there, the large rock had already been moved. They were shocked and worried. The women went inside. They saw the cloths that had wrapped Jesus' body, but Jesus was not there. They could not believe it. As they were standing there, feeling shaken, a bright light suddenly filled the cave. Some angels stood before the women. Jesus is alive. He has risen on the third day, just as he said he would. The angel said, go and spread the word. The women rushed from the tomb to tell the disciples. On the road, Mary Magdalene was stopped by a man who asked her what was wrong. Mary thought he must be a gardener, but as she looked up, she saw that it was Jesus. She fell to her knees in awe. After the women had told the disciples the wondrous news, Peter and John went straight back to the tomb to see it for themselves. Just as the women had told them, all that was left in the cave were the cloths worn by Jesus, but no body. They were confused. Jesus appeared to his disciples several times over the next few weeks. One time they were gathered together in a room when Jesus appeared. They were terrified, thinking he was a ghost. But Jesus showed them the holes in his hands and feet to prove he was not a ghost. He even ate some fish with his friends. It was a miracle. During the meal, Jesus reminded his friends of what he had taught them. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die and then be raised from the dead, he said asking them to go and spread the word of God. The only disciple who was not there was a man called Thomas. When the other disciples told Thomas what had happened, he said he couldn't believe it unless he saw Jesus with his own eyes. Finally, Jesus did appear to Thomas. He told Thomas, put your finger here, see my hands. He continued, Because you have seen me, you have believed. But it is more amazing for those who don't see me and believe anyway. This is the story of Easter. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day to save us. Because he loves us so much. And that, boys and girls, is the most exciting story in the Bible. Jesus is risen, which is another way to say that Jesus is alive.